Hello, welcome to Shad Life. I have a We the People Seed BMX bike in this box. Um, what is a We the People Seed? Well, it's a kid's 16 inch BMX bike. Um, and you might be wondering why I'm holding onto a skateboard. Well, before I unbox this bike, I want to talk a little bit about something. If you have kids, and they're around the ages of four, five, and six, that's a really good time to start introducing them to action sports. And I think it's really important that parents do this. And we're talking female, male, whatever, like, it doesn't matter. This isn't a boy's thing anymore. And I see a lot of kids at very young ages getting into skateboarding, getting into BMX, and things like that. And I believe it will change their life. It's a much better thing to do than giving them video games and things like that and keeping them kind of sedentary. Get them into something that's going to excite them. Take them to the skate park, things like that. Um, so that's just kind of my message. I really think it's a good idea. I didn't really get into BMX until I was a little bit older. Um, I know there were skateboards around when I was a kid, but they were these little plastic, you know, I call them death boards, but whatever, I forget what they call them, but um, they're plastic and big wheels and they're super sketchy and they're actually kind of popular again. But um, I got into BMX and it changed my life and gave me that, that thing to be excited about. And I just think it's such a good idea. Um, I know there's team sports out there. There's baseball, basketball, hockey, football, whatever. That's fine. Kids are going to get into that stuff naturally because it's all around them. It's in their schools and everything like that. But getting them into skateboarding, BMX, even like a kid's mountain bike, if you're into that, whatever, I really think that is an important thing to do. All right. Enough on that. Let's unbox this bike and check it out and see the quality of it and things like that. So like usual, it's all packed with all this stuff, so I got to take this all off. Uh, usually what I'll do is I'll throw the seat post on, get it in the stand, and then I can strip all this stuff off. Um, you might be wondering why I'm buying a kid's bike. Well, my niece just had her son turn four years old and I actually did a video on my channel like three years ago I think um, giving him a Strider when he was one and now he's four and I just want to make sure he has something to move on up to from his Strider so that's what this bike is for all right let's get it in the stand
Okay, there we go. The We the People Seed. So um, putting this together, uh, pretty nice quality bike, especially for a kid just getting into it. Um, one thing that I highly recommend is you actually do get a good quality bike. This was around $300 or just over $300. Um, totally worth it. I mean, it's got good quality welds, nice handlebars. It's going to be durable. It's got a two, three piece crank on it. Uh, nice freewheel, um, you know, real BMX, uh, you know, like skate park type quality tires, good quality saddle, good feeling grips. The brakes work good. All of that is super important. Uh, people's tendency is, is, oh, this is my kid and he's going to grow out of it in no time. So I'm just going to go to Target or Walmart and get him a cheap kid's bike. Well, you can do that, but I don't recommend it. And the reason is, is that this bike, you could use it for a couple of years and then you could easily sell it for, you know, $150, $200 to some other kid who would love to ride this bike as they were growing. And this thing's gonna last a long time. Um, and it doesn't just go to the garbage. The problem with bikes from department stores is they're pretty much single use bikes. They're not very good quality. They don't last very long. If the kid even did take it to a skate park and start trying to learn to jump and stuff, the handlebars are gonna move, stuff's gonna bend and break and it's just gonna end up in the trash. And so I feel like Bikes like that are very wasteful. They end up in landfill. You hear me talk about landfill with like the packaging and stuff. It's like I call bikes like that landfill bikes because that they're so poorly made, they're not going to last, and they just end up in the garbage. Versus a bike like this could go through many kids <laughs> before it... It, I mean, I don't even know if it would ever need replacement because there's good quality BMX bikes from the 80s that people still have around, right? So this thing could go through many generations of kids. Um, so it's worth 300 and some dollars to spend on it, even if your kid's only going to use it for a couple of years. So um, that's my spiel on that. Um, this bike is awesome. This is like a true BMX bike that you could throw pegs on here. Kid could go and start uh, learning to ride BMX, like legitimately learning. There are literally five, six, seven year olds. I think I just saw like a, a seven or eight year old doing flares and big airs in a skate park in a video. Um, so the, it is entirely possible for these young kids to shred. And there's also the possibility that they're never going to get into it. There's always that risk. But it's worth a shot, right? And it gives them some freedom. It gives them some ability to use their creative uh, <laughs> side to, to learn tricks and things like that. And yeah, I just... You know, I think BMX is amazing, and so is skateboarding. You know, a good quality skateboard. Again, if you do go get a skateboard, <laughs> don't go to Target or Walmart and just get some crappy skateboard that doesn't roll very good or anything like that. Go to a skate shop, spend the hundred bucks, eighty or a hundred bucks or one hundred and twenty bucks, whatever. Get him a good skateboard and get the right size. If it's a younger kid, get a smaller skateboard that's sized for them in a skate shop will help you get the appropriate size skateboard for your kid versus just going to Target which you have no idea what size to get them. So um, yeah, that's my spiel. <laughs> so what do I think of this bike? Well, I think it's pretty amazing for the amount of money. Yeah, it's you know high 10 steel and stuff like that, which is good, strong stuff. But, you know, it's not, you know, like the bike I ride, which is full chromoly, but the bike I ride, the BMX bike I ride, 
has, is probably a fifteen, sixteen hundred dollar bike. So, you know, big difference there. Uh, one thing this bike does have is really good brakes. Important, um, and it's got some serious shred potential. So there you have it. We the people seed. Um, I'll put a link in the description uh, to the Albies uh, online order that I got it from. You can also go to your local bike shop if they carry We the People. I'm actually surprised a lot of b local bike shops carry We the People. None of them had this in stock here, so I just ordered from Albies, which is where I order most of my BMX stuff. But um, awesome. I appreciate your support for my channel. Please like and subscribe. Peace.